Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update. Uh, we'll cover a lot of different topics in this update, but first I want to show you what's happening now, live radar. We've got uh, the afternoon thunderstorm pattern that is establishing itself, kicking in in Colorado. Let me take you uh, in a little bit closer. In fact, you can see some of the, uh, the lightning bolts here running right up and down the spine of the, um, of the Continental Divide in Colorado. I'll take you closer in. So there's Georgetown, um, so Loveland Ski Area is going to be um, up in this area right in here and you can see we've actually got some action there on radar and here's what it looks like um, one of their cameras at about 12-7 um, thunderstorm right over the top falling as snow obviously up here it's still cold enough for that but um, that's what we're gonna see now in Colorado dry mornings typically and then you're gonna see the afternoon thunderstorm pattern um, kick in. Here are my bullet points for this update. So there are two storm systems. When we look at the pattern between now and about 511, there are two different storm systems, very spring, spring type storm systems that will come out of the west and traverse through the Rockies. Now yesterday uh, in my update we looked at some pretty hefty snow forecast numbers through Wyoming, uh, Montana, and Utah. All those numbers have gone down significantly today. Different track, not as much cold air, and so that happens this time of the year. Everything has to be perfect for big numbers, but we'll look at those, my forecast numbers coming up. And then, of course, we just covered the afternoon thunderstorm pattern. I want to show you what else is going on right now. So this, over to my Twitter account, um, in Utah, in Little Cottonwood Canyon, look at, this, um, look at this video out of Little Cottonwood with this mudslide coming down in Little Cottonwood. Um, so uh, a massive debris pile hitting the, uh, the road there. Um, it's just crazy. I mean, so you, you've got all the snow uh, it melting, and you've got um, some areas that are seeing mudslides um, lower down in Little Cottonwood. Pretty amazing stuff. All right, let's go over to uh, water vapor satellite. So a couple of features to point out. When you see this water vapor, the oranges and the reds represent drier air aloft. The whites and blues rep would represent your moisture in the um, aloft, mid to upper atmosphere. So there's our one low that's spinning uh, very, very slowly, snail's pace. There's another low that'll come in behind it um, and be our second low. So there's a low here. There's another low that's kind of sitting over Hawaii and another low here. So pretty active pattern right now across uh, most of the, uh, the Pacific. So your flow is kind of like this right now. So this other low will slide in behind it. Those are going to be the two main areas of low pressure that will dominate the forecast through uh, 511 across most of the west. Um, in, in fact, let me just show you what the jet pattern is going to look like. So here's 58. This would represent the second storm system coming through. You can see the dip right here over parts of Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Montana, the dip in the jet stream. You know, and I'm looking at the Tetons here, my forecast. Um, most of the snow that falls in the Tetons, and there's not going to be that much uh, with today's update, but will fall on 5.5 five to 5.6 five, and then 5.7 into 5.8. Um, freezing levels. So on 5.4, they're still very high at about 11.7. About then on 5.5, five, five, they fall once that snow moves in with the cold front. Um, the, the freezing level, the 32 degree line, probably falls to a daily max of about 9,200, then it falls to 8,900 on the 6. So that's going to be the impact that we're going to see with that. Uh, here's the jet pattern on 510. So a couple days later, the low is gone. And in fact, in this, you can see the jet arcing to the north, a little bit of high pressure ridging there across the west. That really marks the end of it. So two storms through about 511, and then we're back to high pressure across most of the west. All right, let me show you um, the forecast radar and satellite. So, all right, Wednesday morning, here comes our storm. You can see it's spinning in California for a couple of days, and then it starts to break loose, and that's when we're going to see most of that snow, 5-5 five, five or later for northern Utah, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Colorado, continues into 5-7 and probably into 5-8. That would be the second low coming in right there. You can see the spin in the Pacific Northwest starting to spread that moisture in across the interior. All right, so let's talk amounts of snow. Here are my forecast numbers, and again, these are way down from yesterday. This will totals uh, rest of today all the way through 511, um, about a foot up there in the Pacific Northwest. Those are the biggest numbers. All the other numbers we're looking at probably three to eight inches through uh, the Sierra, uh, the uh, Wasatch there in northern Utah, and the Tetons. I mean, all those numbers yesterday were just huge, but today, different track, 
not as much cold air for these two lows, so all the numbers have to be brought down in Colorado. Two to six inches will probably do it through 511. All right, guys, that's the uh, the afternoon update here on this Tuesday. Always appreciate you tuning in. Take care.